Hey guys, hopefully I'm in focus. I My eyesight is so bad that I can't even tell if I'm in focus on the little flip out screen or not. So if you I've filmed videos where I keep going out of focus and I don't realize it, so I'm trying to get better at that. I'm still not used to this camera yet. Um, but I have a product to review today. Um, I'm not really going to call it a first impressions because I've been using it, so... Um, which is better in a sense for this because I can kind of tell you how it works and how it lasts. I was super excited to try this because this is like a product that I have been needing <laughs> like the entire time I've worn makeup I've needed this and haven't had it. This is called the Model in a Bottle Lipstick Sealer and I had heard of their makeup setting spray before. I never tried it but I was super excited about this. The setting spray is supposed to be great for like stage makeup and it just basically sets your makeup on your face and keeps it there until you wash it off. So that's what the, bottle, the box looks like. Very plain, not uh, anything special. And on the packaging, it's very tiny but you don't need a lot. Again, it's very plain looking packaging. Just has a little face on there. You get uh, 0.17 fluid ounces and I think it was around $18. I got it from Camera Ready Cosmetics, which quick little side note that I didn't realize until recently. If you have a blog and you do a review on a product that you bought from Camera, Camera Ready Cosmetics and you like mention that in your review um, and then submit it to them on their website, they have a little link for bloggers. They will uh, uh, give you once it's approved, they will give you a store credit. So that is what I bought with this because I had reviewed the one of the Vice Art palettes that I bought from there. So they sent me a store credit and I got this to try out, which I will also review, but I love this so far. Like this is this is what I wanted the Smashbox Instamat uh, lip stuff to be, but I'm not gonna compare them side by side because the Smashbox one is meant to mattify your lipstick, which it does to some extent. If you watch my review, I'm not really impressed with it. But this stuff doesn't mattify. It keeps, it makes any lipstick you put on, like, budge proof, like a liquid lipstick would be. It just doesn't mattify it. So, I mean, you can put this over a normal matte lipstick, like a MAC one, which doesn't, uh, which isn't kiss proof or anything. But when you put this over it, it makes it like that. So I'm going to do a little demo for you. I wanted to pick a dark lipstick that I like but makes a mess when I wear it. So I picked the Marc Jacobs um, Cabaret. This was, how did I get this one? It was from Sephora. It was like the first thousand point bonus perk that they ever had. And it's this really pretty dark cranberry color. But the Marc Jacobs lipsticks, at least this is the only one I have. I have like a little mini red one too. But they they're so creamy that they just I'm afraid to wear dark colors in them because it makes a mess so I'm gonna show you I'm just gonna apply this lipstick this is one of those lipsticks it's a, it's a gorgeous color I love this so much I love the formula it's super creamy but it's one of those ones that wants to get all over your teeth it'll get on anything that you drink out of or eat or anything so the, main thing you do with this is after you apply your lipstick you have to blot it so I have toilet paper so that's gonna take a little bit of the shine away um, and then you're gonna take this which is it reminds me of like a little nail polish brush <laughs> let me show you what it looks like it's just a brush and I am gonna tell you this stinks like chemical. It reminds me of like Dr. Scholl's makes this stuff that comes in a bottle like this that is for like if you have corns or calluses on your feet and my, I remember my mom having that all the time and it stunk whenever she opened the bottle and this is just bringing back memories because that's what it smells like and at first I was like I don't think I want to put this on my lips but um, honestly, the smell goes away as soon as it dries. It dries pretty much right away. You just apply it right from here. Um, it feels cold on your lips when you first put it in, when you first apply it, but I think that's because there's alcohol in it. Like the first thing on the back says SD alcohol 
3B. And then it says it has fragrance, but I don't know what the hell the fragrance is because it stinks. It doesn't smell like anything good, but anyways, I thought having alcohol and stuff in this, this was going to kill my lips and make them super dry. It does not. Like, this is like a miracle worker, so you're just going to brush this over the surface of your lips. You want to make sure it sets for 30 seconds with your lips apart, so don't press them together or anything. Um, just to make sure that, that they're totally dry and then you're not supposed to eat anything or drink anything for 10 minutes so that it cures cures <laughs> um, it's been probably three minutes since I applied this and it feels dry now uh, it's still like I don't know how to describe it it doesn't dry out my lips which really surprised me because the first thing on the back here says alcohol and it has such like a chemically smell I was not expecting it to not suck all the moisture out of my lips so I'm not sure how well it works with like a matte lipstick because I haven't tried it yet I find that my matte lipsticks stay on pretty well throughout the day um, but it works awesome with cream uh, cream formula lipsticks, which is why I picked the Marc Jacobs one to show you because those are like super super the creamiest lipstick that I own. Um, so, oh, it's got a little bit coming off like on the inside. I Just because of the smell of it, I don't want to put it on the inside of my lips, but that is as much transfer as you get. See, it's nowhere near as bad as it is if you just have the lipstick itself, and it it does, your lipstick will fade a little throughout the day, it's not like bulletproof stuck on there, but this keeps it on, I will still have this on at the end of the night tonight. Cause cause it's just, it fades, but it fades evenly, and it's not to the point where like, the center of my mouth is all bare lip and then the outside is the color. I can't stand that when that happens with lipstick because it just looks like I put liner on my lips and left it like that. But this is an amazing product. I am super excited about it so far. Like, if you have a, a favorite lipstick that you, well I wouldn't call it a favorite if you don't reach for it often because it transfers like crazy or it makes a mess or you're afraid it's gonna like show up on your teeth because it's a super dark color and you just don't want to deal with the maintenance then get this because this is like it will solve your problem <laughs> basically this has solved my problem with uh, lipsticks that I don't reach for much because although I love the color I don't like the formula and this pretty much changes the formula so that it'll stay put on your lips uh, depending how dark it is, not kiss off on anything. See, I guess it was just a little excess left, but if I were to do that to my hand without this sealer stuff over this lipstick, it would be spot on transfer of my, my lip lines. <laughs> so, um, I hope that was kind of helpful. I've been on the hunt for products like this that keep your lipstick on for a really long time and I think I found it with this one. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you in my next video.